I don't know what some of y'all saying. Who in the world is that fine woman right there? But don't be fooled. <laughs> that woman can fight. And has been fighting her entire life. For every bit of respect in the ring. Period. That is Kalisha Wild Wild West. So if you are on the West Coast tomorrow at the Agua Caliente Casino Resort Spa on Bob Hope Drive, of course, in the Rancho Mirage area in California, go check out this fight. You're going to want to see the return of K Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah, it's tomorrow. At, uh, the doors are open at 7. Of course she fine. You think I was lying? Y'all like fine girls? You want to see fine girls that can fight? <laughs> so, Kalisha Wild Wild West, it's a lot of fine women in boxing. You just don't know. Do you think because they box, they, they're not attractive? She is a champion. That's her. Look at her with her belts. And she's she's gonna get go back and win a world title. Now I'm a boxing promoter. Wow. Somebody educate Joe Barron what I really do. <laughs> no, she wants to get one more title shot before she's done, you know, and Right now, she's at the ripe age of 29, and this is when most women, you know, they kind of get out of the sport and start thinking about kids and family and things like that. So she wants one more run at it. She did not retire. I want people to understand that she did not retire. She went pro in 2006. She got made a big name for herself. She won the bottom weight title in four years. Uh, at the Staples Center, she's 16, 2, and 3. She has four knockouts. She's gunning for another world title return in the ring on September 23rd. She's fighting Christy Simmons. She's 8 and 2. And I've never seen her before. But they people telling me that she's a fighter too. Like, she's 8 and 2 for a reason. So, she's un. Listen, with talent, she's ferocious. Believe me, she has a lot of boxing ability slipping, but she's not a cutie in the ring. She actually goes in and fights. I don't know. It's some type of fruit fly or something came up in here. <laughs> That's why I decided to go live and tell you guys live about the fight. I like turtle. Yeah, so if you're in the California area, it's going to be at the, the, the Agua Caliente, which means hot water, by the way. Yeah, my, my Espanol is picking up, baby. <laughs> so it's at that, uh, at the Rancho Mirage. That's the casino. So you want to get there. A lot of people, if you're in Rancho Mirage, California, you know where that's at. You know what time it is. Uh, she's fought only two times in the last 60 months. Um, due to... And it wasn't a retirement. I'm going to... Listen... She beat this Christina Ruiz lady back in 2012 uh, for the IFBA 122-pound uh, belt. That was in August. Then she went to Canada and got robbed by the Canadian Olivia Guerrero, Guerrilla. And she, you know, that was in 2014. 
and she's been gone since then and this is the reason why she did not retire a lot of people think she's coming out of retirement no she's now a free agent she was under a promoter last time she had signed a promotional contract with somebody with uh, blueprint boxing promotions I know because blueprint boxing was sending out all these flyers <coughs> And I knew some of the people that was aligned with with that uh, pr boxing promotional company. Hold on one second. But that promotional company never got off the ground and never produced any fights. So if the promotional company don't produce any fights, then what can you do? So the promotional company did not put out any fights. So when you have a promotional company that's not living up to their part, then what are you going to do but get out of the contract? So that's what she did. So to say they were a startup, you know, they never did. They had Melissa, what's her name, Meg Morrow on the list. They had uh, Patricia Juarez. You know, they had they had signed some female fighters. They wanted to do some fights with them, but they had an exclusive contract with Kalisha West. But it never started up. They never put out a single fight card. So if they, you know, that was the thing, is that she never told anybody she was retired. People assumed she was retired because she lost in Canada. And it was a fight she won, but she got robbed because they really just brought her there to try to boost this girl up who basically wasn't cutting the mustard, in my opinion. I mean, it's brave of her to step in the ring, but I think she just had a lot of financial backers behind her that was pushing her to that level. Yeah, so she took... Well, cute. when has somebody cuteness won a fight? There have been a lot of cute women in there that didn't win fights, brother. Cuteness don't win fights. It'll make you probably come to see the fight, but when the bell rings, you got to know how to fight. Ask Dana White how that's working out for him. Well, she didn't want to get, she didn't want to, she didn't want to go through that uh, process of, I'm going to lose everything I got, her and her team, her father, because that's her family, you know, and had them caught up in legal garbage, you know, so she just took time away from the sport to get her life together, to get everything, you know, in line. So you can say she was just sitting back for like a year and a half doing what she had to do. She was promised fights and all this stuff, but everything was null and void. Okay. <laughs> Was Al Heyman mad at me on that phone call last week? What is she talking about? Yes, the Oscar Valdez fight. Hey, he fought a real guy today, and 
I guess they didn't do their scouting report. That guy was undefeated for a reason. No, Bob Arum called me in the middle of a live chat, not Al Heyman. If Al Heyman called me, I know something's wrong. <laughs> something is definitely wrong. If Al Heyman calls me. Oh, no, you're getting her confused. You're getting her confused with, uh, no, 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 no. That's Ava Knight, okay? The lady champ. That's an entirely, they fought like two times. Kalisha beat her once, and that was probably her best win ever because Ava is amazing. And they fought again in a rematch, and that fight ended up being a draw. So Ava never beaten her yet. They were supposed to do a third fight, but somebody got to put the money up. <laughs> Uh, she beat, uh, what's her name, Villa Frank. She beat uh, Lopez, Claudia Lopez. She beat some people. She, she did everything the right way. She was all about hard work. Kalisha, her father always wanted to train and make a, you know, have a world champion. And then his daughter ended up being that world champion was something for him. Well, she came up because her father, he was around mostly in the Pomona area and when they got to Cali. So she was around Shane Mosley a lot, like back in the day when she was young, really young. Well, the thing is that she's a prize fighter and sometimes when you're a woman... It's a lot difficult with, you know, going through periods of maintaining your weight due to having your period, you know, having different medical things done. And you know, that's a bad, it's a bad look. No, that's a bad look for some people to say that. Women are smart. Any woman who sits there and get herself pregnant knowing she got a fighting career, women are not dumb. Listen, if you're a woman fighter, you know the things that you have to. If you're a female fighter, you know the things that they're going to use against you. You know not to put yourself in these positions if you're serious about your career. No female boxer. Have you ever heard a problem in the history of female boxing? combat sports that a pregnancy just come out of nowhere no these women know that this is their job this is their careers they're not going to do that but that's one way an ignorant promoter can come and say something ridiculous and stupid and people will take that and run with it like yeah see that's a good reason not to get them because if you sign a female fighter she's going to get pregnant what when did this happen? Give me a date and time where some serious female fighter got somebody pregnant. That's male chauvinistic thinking. That's all it is. So don't believe the lies. Um, no, I don't, I don't think that at all. Her father normally comes up with the strategy, Juan West. That's Kalisha's father. He comes up with the strategies. They work on things. Uh, some fighters, they can't deal with the pressure Kalisha puts on. She applies a lot of pressure to fighters. And a lot of fighters, uh, female fighters, they, you find out what they made of in that first 30 seconds in the fight. If they can deal with the pressure or they're going to crack. 
she can box you on the outside, but for most of the women that's in the ring with her, she likes to apply pressure. Ava's used to it. You know, she can she's good with doing that also. So it makes for an exciting fight when those two fight each other. But when this fight settles down and they got a box and they got a reset, you know, then the fight goes into more of a technical, you know, thing to go. But she throws with murderous intent with like so many punches. I'm like, my goodness. <laughs> but as far as the weight going, like right now she's on a, a new diet to keep her weight down and she's feeling good. She's eating different. See, the way you eat now when you're 29 is not normally how you're eating when you're 22. Because you normally you can eat whatever you want. You just burn it off. But now when you eat right, you know, when you're older, you, you start feeling different. You know, when you start doing these different things. It goes to, you know, making you feel different energies. Your body is aging, so you're becoming more smarter. Christy Martin is way out of her weight class. Uh, the coal miner's daughter. Yeah, she's way out of her weight class. She, in case you, you probably just got here, dude, but she's, um, she's like, was a bantamweight, weight, 122. Oh, no, this fight is definitely going down. <laughs> She took this fight and agreed to it. It's definitely happening. It's going to be uh, tomorrow, the 23rd. Well, it's almost today right now. So, that's what's up. I just came here. Is J.J. Watt overrated? Uh, I wouldn't say that. The dude got like 60-something sacks in like 80-something games. That's crazy. <laughs> those are crazy numbers so if he's overrated I don't know what overrated is but his position he's very good it's just that he happens to be the complete package so they're gonna promote him in that way I mean if you want to blame Kalisha because she looks good I mean <laughs> sorry but yeah she does look good I mean doesn't mean she can't fight because she looks good. You could be fooled by the pretty face all you want. But then when that pretty face punch you in the face <laughs> and knock you out, you're going to be, whoa, <laughs> she can fight. <laughs> she don't fight like a pretty girl. I'll tell you that. She, ain't a, she likes to get hit. She wants to get hit to see what it feels like. Like when you first get in a boxing ring, the first thing she had to learn was to get over the pain of being hit. I don't know why your live chat isn't working, sir. Everybody else's uh everybody else's live chat is is going great. Well, Kalisha's always been a step ahead when it comes to like fighting and She's always been a step ahead, a lot of her opponents. She has very fast feet, but at 29, we're going to see what she can she can do. She's going to make one more run and get another world title, and let's see where she goes from here. I want to see where their careers go to. I think they lost a lot of years. Layla Ali's been done. She, she kind of... In a way, Layla ruined women's boxing. You know, she came in for a quick cash grab. She brought all these sponsors to her, not to women's boxing. And when it was time to give the women's boxing to really put the fight on the, the sport on the map when fighting uh, her and, uh, I'm sorry, her and Ann Wolf, she ran away from the sport. So she she got out of women boxing what she wanted, and she left without giving them the profile fight that they wanted. So she just came, got her commercials, got her and used her father's name. She re really ruined women's boxing. 
to be honest, that's what Layla Ali did. She did not highlight women boxing at all. It was the Layla Ali show, and that was it. And that's sad. That that right there was a downfall for women's boxing. I wouldn't say she was a fraud, but when it was time for her to make to show and prove, she walked away. Nah, she 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 got everything before. No, she didn't just get pregnant. She walked away. She got women get pregnant at this point when they are not fighting no more. <laughs> they know like, okay, I'm done right now. I'm going to start my family. The women are not dumb. I don't know why people assume that a woman is, uh, all women is, are dumb or something. Women who have a career in athletics don't do things like this. Well, we'll wrap it up then. Go watch the fights tomorrow if you're in the area. Please. 